So I'm, um, I have this eight, Gordon 8.5D, and, and I would really like to add a DRO, which I already have the uh, Schumatech uh, DRO 550 built. Um, I've got a uh, Chinese caliper 6 inch uh, that I could use for the, the quill. But the table X and Y, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, you have to pardon the mess here. Um, see if I can get this focused in here. There's there's quite a bit going on back here. Um, the you can see all these. Um, all these uh, oil cups and then there's even one right in the center of the table if you can see that and um, that's a problem for mounting uh, for mounting a scale back there um, but I'm thinking that the only thing left to worry about is um, mounting mounting the actual um, uh, the scale itself not the reader since you know the reader can go in between here or I can make a spacer or something like that and if I need to even I can um, pull out a couple of those uh, oil cups put 90s on them and you know feed them from somewhere else but but this uh, that oil cup there in the middle is the annoying one <laughs> so I'm gonna have to figure out uh, some way to deal with that um, but you know otherwise there's there's good room for it. Um, planning on getting a 24 inch model. Yeah, this is, uh, this mill's got 20 inches of travel. Um, maybe 21. The, uh, you can see another shot of that. Look up there. And then for the, let's see, for the, um, for the Y, Thinking about thinking about mounting it um, down here. You could see that this is the actually uh, this is actually the um, the the power feed um, shaft uh, that runs through here. And there's actually a bit of room between the mill and the shaft um, that would allow me to run uh, even even back here I can lift this up uh, there's a bit of room uh, back down in here and I'd be able to run like a small um, Chinese scale or something like that back there um, if I'm imagining it, imagining it correctly, the um, the problem comes with the reader head. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to fit. Um, what I might have to do is is angle um, angle the caliper um, so that the there's room for the the reader head to. Um, I got I got a six inch scale here. I can show you what I'm talking about. I could actually um I hate that this uh, solder joint's just loose like that. Basically I could mount the, the scale like this and it would uh it would fit the underside of that dovetail uh, section on the on the um, the table support. So uh, the reader, you know, the reader might actually fit back there. You know, actually looking at the size of this six-inch caliper, I might not even have a problem. I might be able to um, just mount it flush uh, with the knee, the knee saddle. I guess that's what it's called. Anyways, um, up in the, take a look at the, at the quill.
I've got, um, well, I've kind of got this dis disassembled. Um, I have a new spindle in this. I had to replace the spindle because there was um, the BS9 taper on the old one was all torn up. So, but I've got this, um, I had a, a cover plate. This was it. It's kind of cool. Had this uh, scraped cover plate on it. Um, just really impressed with these machines. Um, but this uh, this little key that keeps the spindle from rotating um, is a different size than the key that came out of mine. So got a fab a new cover plate. But once I have that done, I'm just planning on mounting a four inch scale um, just along here, and uh, probably even go with just a regular Harbor Freight style scale. Um, cut off um, uh, cut off the the caliper. Uh, end itself and then just leave the um, uh, the uh, the hardened metal part um, you know the, the measuring probe or whatever you want to call it um, on the reader head and then attach that to this to this block probably um, and I think that'll work nicely I'm going to try to do a good job at it and this is a nice old mill and I want to treat it with the respect it deserves